If religion is inevitable, doesn't it make sense to use science to carefully design a new religion such that its negative externalities are minimized, rather than let harmful new religions crop up in the wild? Um, you know, I've been in this battle multiple times. People who think carefully about how to fix the problems of civilization that put us in so much jeopardy always go through the question. Somebody will always raise the question, do we have to invent a religion or is this doomed to failure if we don't do that? Mm -hmm. And I think it's the wrong question. First of all, there's a problem with building this in at the religious level, which is that the religious level, because it is inherently metaphorical, does not have a mechanism for telling you when the facts on which the thing is predicated have changed sufficiently that the myth is no longer viable. In other words, the way mm -hmm. religions change is by those who ascribe to certain, you know, you've got sectarian... It's resistant to fact-checking. Yeah, it's, it is specifically resistant mm -hmm. to fact-checking. Yep. So what you've got is sectarian disagreement over what the true nature of the religion is, and then the groups that have it closer to right outcompete the groups that have it less right. We can't afford that. We have to have something that self-updates. What does that? Scientific worldview. But you don't want a narrow, empiricist scientific worldview. You want a broad-minded systems uh, theory mechanism that tells you which of your, you know, what is stacked on top of which beliefs such that, you know, this belief um, may not be very, if it's wrong, it may not be very important because there's nothing stacked on it. Whereas this belief, if it's wrong, is a, a terrible uh, vulnerability. And so you need to have some understanding of what's predicated on what, and therefore what needs to be checked at what rate and what level of accuracy it has to have in order to retain its nature and what would cause you to change something in order to avoid something downstream. We know how to do it. It's not that hard to figure out how to do it. And I just think it's incompatible with um, any system that claims absolute truth, right? Now, the scientific method will lead you in the direction of the truth, but it doesn't claim absolute truth. There's nothing that we know that, you know, for one thing, you hear people talking about the simulation hypothesis for the universe. Virtually everything we know about what's in the universe isn't true if the universe is a simulation, right? Nothing is true. Does the earth go around the sun? No, not if it's a simulation, right? So, um, so the point is, look, we're open to all those things. I don't think you have, need to worry that the universe is a simulation, but... Everything is on the table in science all the time, and that's the way it needs to be. And unfortunately, that's the Achilles heel of all religions is that they don't do that.